Hi guys, Sci-Fi Recapped here. Before we start, warning. Spoilers ahead. Today, I'm gonna explain a 2011 Spanish science fiction and thriller movie called The Skin I Live In. The movie begins with a maid, Marilia, delivering meals and supplies to a locked up girl, Vera, in a mansion. Through the intercom, Vera requests Marilia to bring her scissors and other tools, but Marilia considers it ridiculous. Meanwhile, at an event, the owner of the house, Robert Ledger, a renowned plastic surgeon, is giving a speech about the importance of facial reconstruction. After the event, he goes to his lab to examine a blood sample he carried inside a package. After the examination, he goes to his room and monitors Vera through camera footage, then goes to her room to offer her some opium. However, she notices Vera has fallen unconscious and checks on her, finding scratches on her body. He picks her up and performs surgery in his lab to save her, commenting that her skin is very soft. Vera tells him that she will kill herself nevertheless, but Robert is committed to making her skin as strong as possible so she would not get scratched, burned, or bitten by mosquitoes. He calls his invention Gal, after his late wife's name, and presents it at a symposium. After his speech, a participant privately discusses with him his inventions. He asks Robert how he managed to invent a tough skin despite human skin being naturally soft, then deduces that Robert used transgenesis on human genes, violating bioethics. In his defense, Robert states that he only does the experiment as his personal project and it is only tested on mice. However, the scientific community forces him to discontinue his research, resulting in him laying off his servants at home except for Marilia. Robert goes home and watches Vera, who is reading a book, closely through camera footage. He enters her room and she asks him what he is going to do to her. He replies that he does not know, Vera reminds him that she belongs to him, but Robert inconveniently slips out of her room. Marilia warns Robert that Vera will kill herself, but he refuses to believe it because he sees Vera as a strong survivor. While Robert is away from home, a man in a tiger costume knocks on his front door. He turns out to be Zeka, Marilia's son she has not seen in 10 years. Turns out he just robbed a jewelry store and demands her to hide him in Robert's mansion for a few days and also asks that Robert perform surgery to change his face, which Marilia refuses. He sees camera footage of Vera's room and deduces that she is her, but Marilia denies it and warns him to go away and leave her. He refuses, ties and gags Marilia, and searches for the keys to Vera's room. Vera almost escapes when he opens the door but Zeka quickly catches her. She tells him that if he kidnaps her, Robert will be willing to do anything he says. Robert arrives home to find Marilia tied and Zeka on top of Vera, then he shoots Zeka dead. While Robert dumps Zeka's body, Marilia admits to Vera that Robert and Zeka are actually brothers but they do not know it. They were born from different fathers, Zeka from another servant and Robert from Mr. Ledger, her master, as she had served the Ledger family since a long time ago. Robert was adopted by the Ledger family and went into medical school while Zeka grew up on the street and transported drugs. Zeka earlier mistook Vera for Gal, Robert's late wife, because they share some similarities. Years ago, Zeka and Gal had an affair and were involved in a car crash that burned Gal badly and almost killed her, but Zeka survived and ran away. Robert later found her wife and did everything he could do to keep her alive, but one day she looked at her reflection in the windows and was shocked to see her in humane form, then jumped out of the window, killing her. Her daughter, Norma, was devastated seeing her mother's suicide and developed an unstable mental condition. After getting rid of Zeka's body, Robert sleeps beside Vera and dreams of a wedding six years ago, when he saw that Norma had begun to socialize and heal from her trauma. However, she was nowhere to be found during the dance so he looked for her. He found her unconscious in the garden with her things thrown away. She woke up shocked and screaming, apparently mistaking Robert for her attacker. Meanwhile, Vera also dreams of a man, Vicente, who worked in his mother's boutique. He teased his co-worker, Christina, about how she would look great in a flowery dress, but she refused to wear it. He then attended the same wedding party as Robert and Norma. Slowly, he made his way to Norma, then they sneaked out during the dance along with their friends. They went to a garden but then he started to harass her. However, the wedding musician began to sing the same song that Norma sang just before her mother jumped off the window, triggering her, causing her to frantically bite his hand. He slapped her unconscious and then left. Robert noticed him leaving with a motorbike while he was looking for Norma. The next day, he left to wander using his motorbike without knowing that Robert was following him. At some point, Robert crashed into him and drugged him unconscious, then dragged him to an abandoned basement where he chained him. Meanwhile, his mother went to the police to receive news that his motorbike was found but no sign of his body, leaving them to assume he was dead with the body dumped into the sea. 
She was convinced her son would still be alive and that the police should be looking harder for him. Robert visited Norma in a psychiatric hospital, as her mind was rather disturbed after the wedding party, but she did not want to meet him. The doctor even said that her condition got worse when he visited her because she identified him as her attacker. Robert visited Chain Vicente and gave him food and water. Days later, Norma successfully attempted suicide in the same manner as her mother's, leaving Robert devastated. He gave Vicente a shave and drugged him unconscious again to perform a procedure on him. Then, with the help of his team, he gave him a vaginoplasty procedure to change his sex, and over the course of years, changed his appearance to replicate his late wife. Once, Vicente asked why he would do this to him because he did not feel like committing any wrongdoings. Robert explained that he is the father of Norma, the girl he harassed at one wedding party. After a series of procedures, Robert gave him a new name, Vera. The procedures clearly affected Vicente's sanity, causing him to slit his throat once but he still survived thanks to Robert's skillful hands. Years later, Marilia arrived back at Robert's mansion because she had not been there when Norma tragically died. She asked about Vera, to which Robert replied that she was only a patient staying with him. To cope with his depression, Vera started writing repetitive numbers and words on the wall and practiced yoga. Back to the present day, Marilia clearly states her distrust of Vera taking care of Robert before she goes back to her room. Vera and Robert promise each other that Vera would not be locked up anymore and that she would not leave Robert. She then leaves with Marilia to go shopping while Robert receives a guest, Fulgencio, his old co-worker. He politely asks about how Robert is doing, to which he replies that he does not feel like performing surgeries anymore, but refuses to rent his clinic to Fulgencio. He then expels Fulgencio away, but he insists on delivering one last piece of news. He produces a newspaper reporting missing persons cases, including Vicente's, with his photograph on the paper. He explains that Vicente's mother is still desperately searching for him. Robert refuses to give any comments but Fulgencio deduces by himself that Vicente was kidnapped and Robert gave him an unwilling sex change procedure, and his consent papers were falsified. Furthermore, he also guesses that the transgenesis skin research Robert conducted used Vicente as his subjects, not mice. Suddenly, Vera shows up, returning from her shopping, and admits to Fulgencio that she underwent the procedure willingly. Puzzled, Fulgencio leaves the mansion. At night, Robert and Vera are about to have sexual intercourse but she admits not feeling comfortable. However, she remembered buying a lubricant before and goes out of the bed to search for it. She realizes it is not in her room, then heads downstairs to find it among her newly purchased items. On Robert's desk, she bumps into Fulgencio's newspaper which clearly shows Vicente's photograph. After thinking for a while, she retrieves Robert's gun from his desk drawer and then goes back to the bedroom. She shoots Robert dead and the noise awakens Marilia. Taking her gun as a defense, Marilia tries to examine the source of the noise, but Vera replies that it was nothing and that she should go back to bed. Not trusting her, Marilia bursts into the bedroom to find Robert dead, then searches the room for a sign of Vera. Vera, hiding under the bed, takes her chance to also shoot Marilia dead, then escapes from the mansion. Vera takes a taxi to her mother's boutique, saying hello to Christina and her mother who do not recognize her. She tearfully explains her story to Christina, even mentioning the flowery dress that she would like Christina to wear years ago before he disappeared. Christina cannot believe Vera is Vicente, but Vera explicitly admits that she is Vicente in front of her mother. Subscribe to watch more videos like this, turn on notifications, and leave a like to help the channel out. Thank you for watching.